JR with Citrus Carpet Cleaning Atlanta in Buford, Georgia today. This particular job is a referral. Uh, a couple spots. Don't know what they are. There's one there. Kind of one like right there. Good thing is, is when the spots are hard to see, Obviously, they're moving or have moved. If they're harder to see, then that's, you know, good for the powers that be. So, it's basically five bedrooms, the hall and the stairs. A couple black spots in here. Big spot, whatever that is there. The only spots I'm worried about are these black ones right here. So it's about one, a couple spots in this room here. This, spot, this one has several spots. There's one there. There's one there. Some spots over in that corner. Right in there. This room seems to be the worst. And then we have a, another bedroom here. And then we have the hallway and the stairs. And obviously it's been freshly vacuumed, so we'll get this knocked out and shoot a video. Okay guys, it's 2 o'clock. Just finished up this. It was on the, on the books for 1, but we got in and got started about 1.15. As you can see, it is a $305 job with the app tax because they're paying by credit card. So it's $280 plus the $25.20. Um, everything came out well. Actually, the black spots that I was worried about came right out. I was actually kind of surprised about those. And it's one of the things about this business and sometimes about the product we use is you may not know what it is. And sometimes it comes right out and sometimes it doesn't come out at all. It's all part of the process. So the master's all set. Had a master closet in there. One thing I do want to mention is office chair mats. You see that little spot right there we call a donut? That's from an office chair. And the wheels on the office chair, usually there's like five legs or so with wheels on it. If you don't use a, a chair mat, that's what's going to happen to your carpet is... It creates a donut from those wheels. And this one's not that bad. It doesn't show up that much on camera, but it's pretty visible. There you go. I'll back up a little bit. Pretty visible to the to the more pixelated eyeball. So that's why you should always use chair mats um, on carpet. Certainly doesn't hurt to use them on hardwoods as well. That way your hardwood floors don't get worn out. Again, where the wheels are, uh, from the weight, the wheels, and the movement. So chair mats, office chair mats are always a good idea. Um, plastic, wood, whatever you choose, just something to protect the carpet or the wood. So the chair wheels don't destroy whatever they're rolling around on. Uh, so that'll do it for this job. It is November the 2nd. Like I said, it's a 1 o'clock job. Uh, one o'clock? Yeah, one o'clock. It just finished up here at two. So we have the stairs. Five bedrooms in the hall. 280. Um, as I've said before, our operations, training, marketing, and equipment manuals are available online. There'll be a link in the description below if you're interested in getting in the carpet cleaning business. I use probably two gallons of actual cleaner on this particular job and then probably i don't know maybe a quarter or half gallon of, of deodorizer uh, which is a freebie we throw in uh, or you can give us a call 770-652-0630 is our number citrus carpet cleaning atlanta is our website um, if you remember this this room right here was in the worst shape um, all the spots came out of here i did notice they had a 
home shampooer in the garage. I do tell customers and you know people in general, if you've got kids or if you have a husband or if you have pets, it's always a good idea to have one of those machines. The, the trouble, the problem you run into are the products that you use or buy to put in them. Anytime you put soap on the carpet, it's gonna cause issues, so you wanna avoid that as much as you can. If you do wanna put soap in there, because you feel like without soap it's not clean, then you need to make sure you rinse, 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 rinse that area you put soap in until there's no more suds coming out. That way you don't have a residue where carpet is uh, attracting dirt, trapping it and causing it to get discolored and resoiled. So as always, be kind, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time.